हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट मी लॉग इन टू योर क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड वंस डन विद दैट जस्ट मी कम बैक ओवर हियर क्लिक ऑन द चेक बॉक्स एंड देन क्लिक ऑन एग्री एंड कंटिन्यू नाउ जस्ट मी वेट एंड हियर जस्ट मी सर्च फॉर द वर्टेक्स ए ओपन दिस थिंग न्यू टैब एंड जस्ट मी कम बैक ओवर हियर नाउ जस्ट मी वेट and then you click on this enable all recommendation api make sure that you have to click on the enable all recommendation api and once you're done with that then you click on this workbench over here now wait for a couple of seconds now just make click on this user managed notebook make sure that you have to click on the user managed notebook wait for a couple of seconds now and then click on this open jupyter lab now it will take a couple of second to launch a jupyter notebook so just simply wait and sometime what happen you might face a error while launching a jupyter notebook if you face that error no need to worry wait for a couple of minute and then just simply click on this refresh button you are able to open a jupyter notebook without any issue now just simply wait for a couple of minutes now and it's done now here you can see generative ai folder just simply double click over here like this way then click on this gemini folder like this way and here you can see use case folder just simply double click over here now here you can see intro multi model file just simply double click over here now if you are using a jupyter notebook for the first time so you can just simply click on this play button for running each and every shell or you can say command but you have to make sure of one thing that before running any command just simply cross verify your kernel status it must show as a ideal if your kernel status is busy then you have to just simply wait until it show as a ideal okay now just simply scroll down and from here you can see this command so just simply click on this blank space do not click on this black, uh, blue barrel just simply click on this blank space like this way now just simply click on this play button like this way so as you can see it's running and from here you can just simply cross verify your kernel status so now the kernel status is busy and it's ideal now just simply scroll down now what you do just simply click on this blank space like this way and then click on this play button again wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a this kind of pop up like kernel is restarting now just simply click on this okay and from here just simply cross verify the kernel status okay now again just simply scroll down click on this blank space like this and then again click on this play button like this way wait for a second and here you can see from down you can see the kernel status is ideal now here what you do you have to just simply replace the project id so just simply come back to the dashboard and from here just simply copy this project id copy like this and make sure that you do not copy any extra space otherwise you might face an error so just simply copy like this come back over here and just simply replace over here make these changes very carefully like this way and make sure that there is no extra space now here you can see this location but in future if you are able to find a different region on the lab instruction page over here then only you have to just simply use that region otherwise you can just simply continue with the default region now just simply click on this play button like this way and just simply wait and now the kernel status is ideal now again just simply scroll down click over here like this and then click on this play button over here like this now just simply wait until it shows the ideal and it's done now again just simply scroll down now just simply click over this blank space like this way and then click on this play like this way now again just simply click over here and then click on this play button now just simply wait and it's done now again just simply scroll down then click over here then click on this play button over here now just simply wait until it shows the ideal and it's done now if you just simply scroll down over here and here you can see we didn't get any kind of error but if you try to rush in this lab means if you try to run each and every shell at the same time you might face a error over here that's why i'm saying you have to run each and every shell at a time now again just simply scroll down then click on this blank space like this way and then click on this play button now just simply wait and it's done now again just simply scroll down so we are done with this shell just simply click over here then click on this play button
and it's done. Again, just simply scroll down, then click on this, and then click on this play button again. And it's done. Again, just simply scroll down, then click over here, then click on this play button. It's done. Now again, click over here, then click on this play button. And it's done. Again, just simply scroll down, then click over here and click on this play button. And it's done. Again, just simply scroll down, then click over here and click on display button. And it's done. Again, just simply scroll down, then click over here and then click on display button. And I think this is the last one. Yes. And it's done. Now, if you have followed the way I complete this lab, you haven't get any kind of error for sure. Now, if you just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated, no need to worry. Wait for at least five to ten minutes, and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue. Lab take time to update the score, so you don't have to worry about anything. Just simply wait and watch. So as you can see, we are not getting a score, but if I just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress, I will get a green tick over here without any issue. And if the, you are not able to get a green tick, no need to worry, wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue. Just simply wait and watch. And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.